Good morning, and welcome to Erin's Book Club, installment number three. Um, last time I brought to you a fiction book, so this time is a non-fiction book, and the book that I chose to read today, or this time, was Odd Thomas by Dean Coots. Um, well, not Odd Thomas. Odd Thomas in Odd Hours. Um, this is my first experience with Dean Coots, and I really went into this book thinking, oh well, it's just going to be another quick read, and, and um, I found out that the author was pretty prolific. Um, he, he writes a lot of books, and usually when that happens, the books are kind of just a quick read. They're kind of like a filler book, um, but you know what? This one I was pleasantly surprised. When I first started reading it, the, um, the author really got you into the story to start with. We didn't get a long lead up, and the uh, author, um, even though it was a series, um, and it was part of a, um, a series, like it wasn't the first book of the series, I wasn't lost in the series, like I didn't feel like I needed to read the first one, and I didn't feel out of place, but at the same time I felt that I want to read the first one just to start on the series, because I enjoyed the book. To me that's the, the sign of a really good author. Um, now the book itself is about a man who is able to speak with, well not speak with ghosts, but see ghosts, and tries to help them to the other side. Um, and usually within that there is an adventure within itself. Now the author put in a really interesting concept, um, making it that somebody can see a ghost but not actually speak to them. And the reason the author put forth was that if you spoke to a ghost you could actually ask a ghost what death was like and how death felt like and the and the ghost could tell you and the author felt that that would change your perception of life and what you would do with your perception of life and how you would end it um, which would change the whole idea of the universe um, very interesting concept and one that I was very intrigued by he also had um, concepts where these ghosts of his would come and help him or ask for help to go to the other side but the author didn't know right away how to do it or Mr. Coots didn't or Odd sorry didn't know um, the right way how to do it so these ghosts would follow him throughout these adventures um, while they're trying to figure things out now that's all just kind of a side point that's just kind of the way the character Odd Thomas gets through life and then the main series or the main problem of the book is there's going to be an end of the world type event um, and he doesn't know how or why um, he's just drawn to a town where he gets these premonitions where they're, the end of the world's going to come and it ends up being an amazing plot um, where the the end of the world's going to be t be um, affected by people and people are going to start this and the um, concept of what to do to solve this and then having the ghosts help him with that even though you couldn't actually speak to the or the ghosts couldn't speak to you uh, just a really interesting concept and I don't want to ruin the the twist at the end or, or you know ruin the story for people but I do think that this is a story that needs to be um, read and I think I will um, try to finish the rest of the series it's not a, a story that usually is right up my alley, um, and Dean Koontz is again not one that I've written before, but I think I'm going to look for his stuff in the future. Um, very good book, very quick read. It wasn't a phenomenal book, it wasn't something that would change your life kind of thing, but a very good read, and everything kind of flowed, and he had this sense of humor in the book that just, it really made it an intriguing read. I, I found myself every spare chance that I got to read the book, which for me is, is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, so Odd Thomas, Odd Hours by Dean Coots. Really good read. I'm going to look for more of his stuff. Thanks, guys.